Hey everybody, this is Jim, and I want to give you a quick demonstration of how easy it is to build your very first app in MyPhotoApp.com. Once you log in for the very first time, this is what your screen will look like. Uh, obviously, you'll have your brand name up here. And to create your very first app, just click on this Create a New App I uh, button, and up will come a dialog. Enter the name of the app. I'm going to build an app for one of our models, Sierra. So I'll type in C-E-A-R-A. Press enter and it creates the skeleton of the app. Let's go over to the load images tab where I can drag and drop in images. Is it that going? And as the images load up, it shows the status of each image. And once the images are loaded, I can go up here to the manage images tab and click. And it takes me over to the images and I can see them. And on this tab, I can do various things, but let me show you two things. Let me just uh, rearrange the order of the images. I'll put that there. And the other thing I can do is change the crop of the image. So if I want to make it smaller there, move this over. So you can see you got plenty of controls on how you can get your crops and thumbnails to look just perfect on this page. Next, let's go to the Publish tab. Click Publish. It published it that quick. Click on this and you can see the uh, example app that pops up. So here's the app. It's got the default myphotoapp.com branding, color scheme, and logo at the top. Uh, we'll show you how to uh, update that in a second. But it also has the share images. So you, uh, I'm sorry, the share app icons so people can share their apps with their social network which is incredibly powerful because you share it to one and then they can easily share it to every one of their friends and families and then friends and families can share and it can just grow out and we have complete analytics inside uh, my photo app so you can see how this how the apps grow and build your brand let me scroll down and show you the the that all the apps are or images are there Okay, so I told you about changing the, the settings so you can have your own branding color scheme. Let me show you how you do that right quick. You go over to the settings tab, and obviously this is the, the default password, or not default, but a random password that was assigned to this uh, account. You can change it to whatever you want, but let's skip that for now. Uh, when you go to the brand settings tab, here's where you can enter your company name and some contact information. And then your social networking. If you're on any of the social networking sites, you want to fill in... Uh, that information so your clients can reach you via social networking tools. Here's the logo. As I showed you before, this is the default logo. You can select any logo you want. Uh, it recommends the size to be 640 by 140, but you can make it you know, any size. It doesn't matter. That's just a recommendation. And you can upload it to change it to your logo. And then once you change your logo, the color scheme is probably not right. So if you click on the app settings, it'll let you have complete control over your color scheme for your app. So your, your app will look gorgeous and make it really a fit with your brand. So that's basically the quick demonstration of how to get started with building your first app and some uh, initial settings that you probably should play with to make it look very pretty and gorgeous and you'll be able to share it immediately. Um, let me tell you about one thing about sharing real quick. Go back to the Publish tab. Here's a sample client email. If you just click on this, it comes down. And you can copy and paste this and send it off. And right here is the link where this app was created. So it's in the email. They just open their email on their smart device or even on their computer. Click the link, and up it will pop on um, the device that they're viewing the email on. So it's very simple to spread this. And they can forward this email to their friends and relatives as well, which will also increase the viral nature of these apps. So if you have any questions, let me know. You can reach me at support at myphotoapp.com and have a great day.